tutorial for another chandelier. Um, it's really cute. And then this is a 15 inch shade and I used 15 six feet cord. So it ended up being 90 feet. You're gonna need three things. You'll need the shade, the lamp shade. Um, what I ordered I thought was a larger opening here, um, but this is what I got. I'll uh, show a picture of what I ordered. Um, you want this uh, preferably to be large enough for the cord to go up through there so that then just the lampshade, the light bulb can hang down. So that's number one. And then I painted it gold with this Design Master Brilliant Gold. I'll add a picture there also from Amazon. And then I'm using the three millimeter cord also from Amazon and I'll add a picture. Okay, now you're gonna tie this so you can work on it. And I just cut, tied a couple of knots around this way and um, on all three sections and hung it up. You want the lower portion down, if that makes sense. So you don't wanna flip it up where that is up top. You want it as low as possible. Six feet of cord and I cut seven of those and put this on here and I will just do that all the way around. You may be tempted to go ahead and put the pattern but I would wait until you have everything on there because you may need to space them out more or make them tighter. So just go ahead, depending on what size uh, shade you're using, I'm not sure how many different sets of seven you'll need. So just go ahead and um, place that all the way around the um, shade. All of the cord is put on. I, it ended up being 15 sets of seven. So now I'm going to start making this pattern in each section of seven. So what you will be doing is you will go and find the center, which is here, and you will do double half hitches this way, and then use this one and go that way. Okay, so moving over, I will, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that's what we need. We'll go to the center one, which is here. I really am not liking how this is hung up. Okay, so now this will go over, that will go over. Okay, and now that one's gonna go over this way to these three. And you just wanna make these, sure these are even. The beauty of macrame, if you don't like it, you can take it out and start over again. And also, it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Imperfections are fine in macrame. Okay, that's second knot. I mean, second lark's head, and here is the final one. There we go. If you need help with the half hitches knot, I have a tutorial that I think is pretty good. Okay, so now you find the center again and you're going to do a square knot. And 
and then you'll keep two of that one and go over and get those two and do another square knot. Skip over here, take the two from the first one, another square knot. And then take two of those and two of these. You'll do the final square knot here. Okay, so now you've got the four square knots. Now you will use the half hitch knot to just do this. And you use the same lead cord. So now we're going to do that. Use the same lead cord and do this side. Okay, that's the final cord here. And then what you want to do is join these two together. So just continue and do one more to bring that little triangle together. And there you have it. So now you're just gonna go around and do this stitch all the way around. Okay, we did the pattern all the way across. And now it's time to do the next row. So you will see instead of doing one, two, three, four, you're gonna do one, two, three, all the way around. And then again here. And then you will take the center four. And instead of, I usually for a berry knot will do three square knots, but this time I did four. And then you just do four square knots um, and make the berry knot there. Okay, so we're just gonna get started here. And this one needs to be even, but go ahead and just do the full square knot like that, and then just pull down and you'll see you can get that to, to line up properly. So that is one, and then we'll do two. Three. And then go to this one and do the second and third on this side. Two from here, two from there. Go back through here. That was my dog, by the way. There we go. That. And this one you have to do, skip over to here and do this one. And the 
the final one. Okay, so now this is ready for the berry knot. So we're just gonna get these two there, there. We're gonna do four square knots. Two, three, and four. And then these two will go up here, here, and here. Pull that through. And then, I don't know what happened with that. There we go. So now you just do another square knot under to secure the berry knot. I do have a berry knot tutorial if you wanna look at that. So, there you go. Isn't that so cute? So now we're just gonna go around. We'll do the uh, six square pattern here, a berry knot, and just keep continuing on. Okay, now that row is done and you're all that I haven't decided how long I'm going to cut this. Um, so there are some shorter here, so that could potentially be where I choose, but I guess you can just decide how long you wanna leave that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.